if you look at uh, what is involved in creating a video game and what a modern video game is today, a 3D video game, it's essentially a simulation of a whole nother world. We're creating these, these worlds that are, are, they look beautiful, they look closer and closer to our reality. Uh, uh, things inside the world behave correctly. We simulate the physics inside these worlds. So when things interact with uh, each other, it looks correct and behaves correct. And, and we also fill these worlds with, uh, with intelligences, with other beings, AIs. So all of these things combined are, are the ingredients that you need to construct a, a another virtual world and what we're now starting to call the metaverse more commonly in order to to do to do the world justice to to do it at the fidelity at the quality at the accuracy that we really want as humans you need an amazing uh, an awesome amount of compute we still aren't quite there yet you can use every every bit of compute on the earth that's available right now you, you could dedicate it to doing a simulation of the world and it's still not enough. So we need to continue to keep building this. The, the start of 3D video gaming in the 90s um, coincided with when we, when we started NVIDIA. We built these special processors, these chips, designed to accelerate um, the rendering portion of this problem. And what rendering is, is really it's the simulation of the physics of how light interacts with, with matter. And that's what we use to create the images. Years later, we made our, our processors more general so we can program them not just to do the physics of light, but to do physics in general. And next step after that, since we made our processors these powerful um, computing machines that were available to everyone, who, who wants to build a uh, PC to play video games. We made them so programmable that uh, deep learning and artificial intelligence became possible. It was born on top of our processors, on the computing processors uh, that we made available. Combining our, our computing with the uh, information that's available on the internet, all of the data that's available there, with new algorithms have, has given birth to this AI thing. And so now we, we are in this new era where we can simulate and create every part of, the, of these virtual worlds. And that's converging with uh, the amazing amount of data and the connectivity that everyone uh, experiences on the internet. And we're entering a new phase, the next step, the evolution of of the internet into, into what we were all dreaming about, or many of us were, as the metaverse starting, starting back in the 80s and 90s. Thank, thank you so much, Rev. Yes, yeah. we're going to do a little bit of translation for uh, our French audience. French audience. Le, le, les points que, que I can try to keep it shorter next time. I'm <laughs> no, thank you. No, no, this is great. No, we great. enjoy every second of your time. Super clear. Um, en fait, il faut bien comprendre qu'il y a une convergence. Il y a plusieurs convergences. Il y en a une qui est sur les, les microchips qui permet la puissance de calcul de plus en plus grande. Il y a une convergence sur la capacité de informatique, euh, de codage, de capacité de traiter des données à très 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 euh, haute, euh, on va dire qualité, volume, enfin tout ce qu'on peut avoir. Okay. C'est ce qui permet ce passage de, de choses qui sont finalement simples à des choses de plus en plus complexes, ouais. avec des, des polygones euh, ou des choses comme celles que, 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 que fait Garou, où on est dans presque le réalisme photo, dont parlait ouais. hier Marc, Marc Petit. Ouais. Euh, et c'est l'objectif, et c'est pour ça que cette vision euh, est, est extrêmement puissante. Elle est convergente avec... Euh, euh, ce qui se passe à l'intérieur des machines, elle est convergente avec la capacité de traitement, l'intelligence artificielle, les algorithmes ouais. qui permettent de traiter euh, une multiplicité de données de manière simultanée, voilà. de la modéliser en petits polygones. Ouais. C'est chacun de ces éléments qui fabrique ces photos, enfin ces éléments, on ne voilà. sait plus comment les qualifier, voilà, ça. des formules mathématiques et qui sont en fait des images pour notre cerveau. Absolument. Et c'est là où on est dans la matrice voilà. sans le savoir. Ouais. Euh, tout ce qui nous entoure là n'est que des calculs mathématiques, ce ne sont tout... que des zéros et des 1. Voilà.